I'm Hannah and welcome to my kitchen. You can probably hear I'm not feeling so hot today, so I'm gonna let my slow cooker take over for dinner tonight. From Taste of Home Easy Weeknight Dinners, I'm gonna make a delicious burrito. It actually calls for pork in this recipe. It's a shredded pork burrito, but I'm, of course, substituting chicken. So, let's get started. In my slow cooker ceramic dish, I have three pounds of chicken breast. If you're gonna do this with pork, you're gonna use a three to four pound shoulder butt, a three to four pound shoulder butt roast. The sauce is really simple. It's just a can of diced tomatoes with chili, and do not um, drain these. You want all the juices in. Fourth a cup of chili powder, and I actually add a little bit of cumin to this, just because I like that flavor. Two tablespoons of honey. I'm just gonna guesstimate here. I think the honey will go really well with this spiciness. Three tablespoons of garlic, minced. And two tablespoons of lime juice. So I'm just gonna squeeze in two limes. So the great thing about this recipe is it has the little freeze it icon. It makes a lot and then you can freeze the extras and it gives you freezing directions. So this is gonna make about 10 burritos. And then lastly, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. So in this recipe, I'm omitting one tablespoon of chopped and seeded jalapeno just because Jackson is going to eat this. I don't think he'll like it too spicy. And before I blend it, I'm actually going to add my own little twist. I have half an onion. I'm going to slice it very thin. But I do like a shredded meat for anything, whether it's a sandwich or a burrito. I like when it's got some thinly sliced onions in it. I'm gonna blend my sauce. This is gonna go on top of my chicken and onions. That's literally all there is to it. So I am getting kind of a late start. So I'm gonna cook this on high for five to seven hours. If you have the time, it'll probably be better this way to cook on low for eight to 10 hours. Cause then the meat gets a little more tender. So I'm gonna pop this in the slow cooker while it's cooking. I'm gonna slice some avocado. Hi. What is that? I'm making some chicken for burritos. Why? Okay, so the meat is ready and it's just falling apart. It's so juicy. So I'm just gonna shred this and return it to my sauce that's still in the slow cooker. The way I shred my chicken is I just take two forks and separate it just like this. And I'm gonna return this to the slow cooker and cook it for about another 10 to 15 minutes just so it can soak up all the juices into every little crevice of this meat. I want my burritos to be really flavorful. So to assemble these beauties, I have a slotted spoon. I'm gonna scoop out some of my chicken mixture. Try to drain, get the liquid out so it doesn't make the burrito all mush. I'm gonna lay on a little bit of avocado. And for the ones I'm serving tonight, I'm gonna add just a little dollop of sour cream in here. Ta-da! We got a burrito. What do you think, Jackson? Good. working mom, so she said that she relies on her slow cooker a lot. So this is the perfect recipe to start before you go to work and have it all ready when you come It's very easy, really delicious, and perfect to breathe. I'm Hannah Williams. Happy eating. <laughs>